Hey guys, welcome to another video of Let's Trick Food, which is your weekly dose into the world of processed food. In this time of rapid climatic change and environment degradation, one thing that always comes to my mind is that is the food industry vigilant enough? And then who is ensuring that the farmers they get right price for the produce and they are not violated in any aspect? So today we will see one such organization which is called Fair Trade, who has caught recognition all over the world and whose certifications are being associated with food labels vastly. And like my all other videos, I'll try to keep this as fun as possible. Now before we see what the certification and the organization they are all about, let's dive into its evolution. So it all began in 1992 with the foundation of Fair Trade Organization, way before I was born. Oh, oh my god, I can't god. believe it! Why are you guys surprised? Yes, I was not born then. Do I look that old? And the origin of this organization, it is based upon repeated appeals from the Mexican coffee farmers regarding fairness of trade for the produce they were growing. And therefore, six different organizations, they founded the Fair Trade Organization. But it was not before 1994 that the first Fair Trade certified product was seen in the market. And me, yes, I was not born yet. You know what? I'm about to say, I don't care. So the first product was green and black's Maya Gold Chocolate which was made with cocoa from Belize and after this the Fairtrade certified coffee products they came into the market. And then in 1997 the Fairtrade labeling organization was founded. Are you thinking I will say something again about the year I was born? But this video isn't about me. Why would I do that? Okay. Then in January 2004, the Fair Trade Labeling Organization it was divided into two organizations, the Fair Trade International and the Fair Trade International Certification, which is FlowCert. Now, the reason was simple behind this division, which was to ensure impartiality, the independence of the certification process, and to comply with the ISO 65 standard for product certification bodies. Now you guys would be saying enough of this agencies and years what does this organization really do so need not to worry i am equally impatient as all of you but let's first see what fair trade is so fair trade is an arrangement that is designed to help the farmers in developing countries to achieve sustainable and equitable trade relationships now you can have a look at the 10 principles of this organization so this organization it runs basically a product certification system in which the social economic and environmental aspects of production they are marked against the fair trade standards for both traders and producers. So the aim of the system is to create a relationship of trust and this has been very well described by a video from Fair Trade Organization whose link I have put in the description. So Fair Trade Organization it basically monitors the buying and selling of a product until it is consumer packed and labeled and then certifications that are only issued after a physical inspection has been made by the certification agency which ensures that the standards are met. Now, I've been saying a lot that there are some standards against which the certification is checked. Now, what are these standards? Let us have a look at them now. So, there are seven categories of standards by the Fair Trade Organization, out of which one is specifically for gold and precious metals, and rest six of them, they are all applicable somewhere in the supply chain of food industry. Now, what do these standards do? They basically are aimed at ensuring traceability throughout the supply chain to ensure that the product which are being certified as Fair Trade, they contain those ingredients. They're for it is true to its name. Further, if we look at the standards for the producers, they need to ensure that they are following sustainable environmental and agricultural practices. They are not having uh, child labors at their field and they are being given minimum wages. And, and then through traders, the producers, they are ensured minimum price for their produce. Further, the thing unique about this system is that the traders and the buyers, they are supposed to pay premium to the farmers. And this premium is based upon the quantity they are buying. And then after receiving the premium, the produces they are free to choose how to use that money in their development. Isn't that great? First time I'm seeing a system where the person who is at the bottom of the pyramid is not being crushed. Now reading about the standard, one thing that really interested me was the one about climate change standards. Now as a person, I've always wondered one thing, that why a small scale farmer or a daily wager who is struggling to arrange a meal will worry about climate change. 
irrespective of the fact that how much it affects him, his crop yield and then his profits. I'm happy that I stumbled across the climate change system and the standards that fair trade has put across. And for me, I found it to be a great solution. So the fair trade organization, they have put another video on their website. The link is in the description in which they're explaining how a three degree, a minimum three degree increase in the temperature can affect the yield of a coffee plant. And they say that even it may stop wearing the pots. So fair trade has incentivized the carbon emission management for the producers in which they are giving them money to establish systems which reduce the carbon emission on the producers end. And along with that, the amount of carbon that they have reduced, they are equal to the carbon change credits. Now these credits, they can be reimbursed for money from the multinationals to which they are selling their produce because the multinationals themselves, they are looking to reduce their carbon footprint. Hmm. And after long, I'm seeing a great cycle of events which is resulting into a positive impact. That is great. And I've already said that the mission for the organization is to promote fairer trading conditions for the disadvantaged producers. Now on their website, they have given a geographical scope detail in which they encompass all the producers countries where the producers, they are eligible for fair trade certifications. So this is the image where we can see that. And uh, I'm happy to see that India is included in that. Now I got really excited seeing India into the geographical scope and I went into the website but sadly the website is under maintenance. Keep myself on track, keep my head up staying strong, always moving on. But based upon the Instagram uh, post, I observed that they're working closely with the cotton farmers and also the startups like Paperboard who are carrying their trade certification. But I somehow feel that the big companies like Nestle, Unilever and ITC who advertise a lot about the welfare of the farmers they are dealing with, whose produce they are buying, they do not carry these certifications. But I guess for them to do so, we as a consumers, we need to look for that certificate and then this will send the message to these giants in the food industry. Now I'm suggesting this because I know that we all have this time in our life when we are thinking to do something about the underprivileged but why not start from somebody who is feeding us the farmers and maybe you cannot do something individually let's help somebody who is doing something about it and, and right now i think choosing a product with fair trade certificate is a good start and guys uh, since we have talked a lot about farmers and environment I thought I'll add this part as well in my video. I don't know if you guys are aware that the government of India is uh, bringing in a new environmental law and based upon what I've read in the draft and what I have viewed in the videos, this draft will weaken the environmental protection in India. And uh, to understand more, I would suggest you can have a look at the uh, video by Dhruv Rati in which he's very well explaining what the draft says. I've added the link in the description and uh, I'm saying this because I think we all need to be aware about what is going on and what our government is doing and how it can negatively affect us in the years to come. So just check it out before it's too late. So guys, that's it for today and uh, I hope you are well, your families are well and you are following the social distancing norms wherever you are. So in this video, I've just talked about one such organization. In the future, if I stumble upon more, I will bring them as well. And in comments, you can let me know if you know such people or organizations who are doing similar jobs, who are taking care of the farmers, who are working to protect our environment. I would love to hear from you guys. And um, if you like this video, do not forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. So see you in the next one.